So in the previous video, we were actually looking at the colours of cars in a car park, which is discrete data because they were the cars were put into discrete groups. Now, in this example, we're going to be looking at some heights. Okay. Now, height is generally a continuous variable. Okay, because you can measure height into increasing levels of accuracy. And let's say these are the heights in metres of some tall trees. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to form a tally chart in order to best represent them. Now, I could put in here the heights um, from, what's my lowest? 8.0 from 8 up to 10, 8.0, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4. But it's going to be quite a long list and quite a long table. So what I might do is I might group them together. And so I might form a grouped table. So if we say that the height is some um, x meters, okay, so some height x, then I could group them by using this method for example okay now this is very particular notation it says and what this means it means any height greater than or equal to 8.0 meters, but strictly less than 8.5 meters. So if I had a tree of 8.5 meters, I will not put it in this group. But I will put in 8.4, 8.3, 8.2, 8.257, and etc. So 8 to 8.5, and then I might have a group of 8.5 to 9, and then I might have a group of 9 to 9.5, and then a group of 9.5 to 10. And then of course I'm going to have to have another group, because I know I've got a value of 10. So notice how I've made sure the groups are the same size, all 0.5 wide. Okay. Now I can fill in my tally. So I've got 8.3. 8.3 would go in this group, because that's 8 8.5. Then I've got a 9.2, so 9.2 would be between 9 and 9.5. 8.7, so 8.7 would be in there. 9.8 would be in there. 10 would be in this group rather than this group, okay, because this is less is greater than or equal to 10, but less than 10.5. This group is less than 10. Then I have 8, so 8 has to go in this group. Then 9.5, so 9.5 won't go in this group, it'll go in this group. Then 9.6, so that will also go in that group. 8.2 will go in there. 8.8 .8 will go in there, 8.9 will go in there, and then 8.5 would go in this group rather than the first group. Okay? And that would be my tally. And then the frequency column, remember that frequency means how many, so I've got three trees between 8 and 8.5 metres, four trees there, one there, three there, and one there. And that is how you could group together um, this information into a grouped table, build the tally, and then we could represent that data later.